judge, and then we'll be done. Yeah, and the artwork turned out so cool. It's okay, I'm gonna do style. Great. All right, guys. Of course, of course, there is an alarm going off in Hackney when I want to film. Thank you. Me and my pimples are back. Hello, it has been uh, quite a while. I haven't seen you since 2018. Um, today is Friday, the 4th of January, and I'm vlogging this weekend. I wanted to vlog, like do a 12 days of Christmas series, but I sucked myself out of it. So it's 2019, it's a new year, and I decided that I would vlog this weekend seeing as I missed everything else that I intended to do. One time for my ponytail. This is really bad. Like, <gasps> look, my skin is a mess. Basically, I just really, really enjoyed myself <laughs> at Christmas uh, when it comes to food, and it's now showing in my skin. I'm paying for it. Um, it's awful, but it could be infinitely worse, so I'm just not thinking about it. Tomorrow, I have tickets for an exhibition that has a ton of Princess Diana's clothes in it, and being the morbid punk rock stroke way pro Diana, what was that statement to say that I'm pro Princess Diana? Listen, I just love Princess Diana, and I fuck with her style, and all the humanitarian stuff that she did, but yeah. There is an exhibition featuring some of her clothing and some of her wardrobe at the Kensington Palace Museum. I don't know. I don't know. I've never even been there and I'm from this city. I've never been there. But I'm going tomorrow at 1.30. Then I have to stop off and get something for my mum. I'm going to go into Liberty and look at... Why do I always vlog when I'm going to Liberty? I'm going to go into Liberty and look at this vase that I've been eyeing up for ages. But I probably won't buy it because it's another four weeks till payday or something absurd and then I'm going to probably come home we have stuff going on but the rest of the weekend I'm probably just gonna hang out around the house I might watch crybaby because John's never seen it before if you've never seen crybaby do not at me I'm probably gonna moisturize my lips because they're dry AF put a bit of Leo oil on my face if you don't know about Leo, it's a brand by um, a girl on Instagram called Leo with Cancer. Her name is Dina. She's based in Denver, Colorado, and she is a cancer survivor. She basically makes this amazing facial oil. I will list all of the ingredients here and in the description to where you can buy Leo oil. But basically, it's one of my favorite facial oils ever, and it smells so nice. Catch you down to la mañana. Wow, I just spoke French and Spanish and English. This is why Brexit is the worst idea ever. Oh, good morning. Hi, it's Saturday now. I'm still in John's dressing gown. I will never take it off or give it back to him. Um, I'm gonna jump in the shower, charge my battery, and then I wanted to film while I was getting ready, but... I don't know, I probably won't. I'll just catch up with you when I get to my destination. Okay, we are in Kensington Palace Gardens. Me and my spot. It's super wintry. The weather just turned super cold. I actually never come here. Okay, that was pretty amazing. So, I almost fell over in front of a lot of people holding a camera. Just, just that second ago, that was, me almost falling yeah that was really cool basically it had um was an exhibition of some of princess diana's most famous looks she wore a lot of british designers so it was like iconic moments in the dresses and like blurbs about where she wore them why she wore them the year she wore them she donated some dresses to be auctioned for charity right before she died um and she raised 3.4 I can't remember if it's million or billion. I will correct myself, but it was right before she died and it was quite poignant because it's kind of like drawing a line in the sand for her as Princess Diana. And so she would then go on to pursue her charity work, which she did a lot of anyway, however she sadly died. And then I just potted around the rest of the palace so you can see the King's apartments and the Queen's apartments. There's tons of stuff about Queen Victoria and 
the king's apartments were built for George the first and second or something like that. I don't know, but basically go. It's definitely worth it. I think my ticket was 20 pounds or something, but it's really pretty and it's quite quiet because I think the ticket price is quite high. Um, but you can see these insane jewels. Now I'm on my way to Whole Foods to eat and I'm going to go meet my mum so she can collect her glasses. back at home I've got some Smarties um a cup of tea I'm really tired after I went to the Kensington Gardens I went to Whole Foods and had Bone Daddies I realized that I eat ramen quite a lot when I vlog generally speaking I don't eat it every day I would love to I would love to eat Tantum and Three from Bone Daddies every day it's one of the few places that I go to on my own. So I don't mind vlogging. Generally, if I'm eating with people, I don't really want to vlog. So from that, I went to Oxford Circus. Wandered around Liberty. So much nice stuff. Not even the clothes, really. I spent more time in the homeware section. There's a lamp. A lamp. What is wrong with me? I can't find my words today. There's a vase that I really want. The brand of the vase is, I want to say quail, but it's not quail. When I can get my words and my shit together, I will put a picture of the vase here with a link to the brand in the description. And there was the amazing room full of rugs by the guy that curates the vintage, oh, insane. Rugs from like Iran, um, Morocco, Turkey, Nepal, it was incredible. Unfortunately, you can't take pictures of video in there. I didn't video when I was in there anyway, but I took quite a lot of pictures in, in Liberty itself. Um, yeah, when I came home, didn't really want to look in any of the stores, too busy, and I've seen everything. We now have Eiffel for the evening. Little wee wee. She's hanging out with the boys. I'm gonna lay down because I've got a headache. I've taken painkillers and it's subsided, but it's not gone. Pound loads of water, I shouldn't be eating chocolate or having caffeine. I'm having a tea with a migraine, although sometimes that helps. So I'm re-watching Breaking Bad, and it's amazing. There's this also really good series on BBC4 about David Koresh and the branch of Indian set that he had. And I watched the first episode, I'm need to watch the following episodes. It's on BBC4, so good. I love stuff like that, true crime, cults, anything dark, basically, except Bad Box, that was trash. Nobody, please. Talk to me or ask me any questions about the box. Because it sucked. Yeah, I'm just going to enjoy my evening. Got some tea. Might have a wine later. Here I am with my best friend. Say hello, Riri. Are you tired? She's a tired girl. She decided to go to sleep. She... Oh. How rude. Just... Look at how glorious. So cold. I'm currently on my way back home. Just went for coffee with one of my old friends and ran into some other friends. Hackney is small, so you always see people. Heading back to see Eiffel and do some stuff around the house. Wee wee. Wee wee. Wee wee. Wee wee. I'm back home. This is what my hair looks like. It's so dry and it's been breaking. Look, it's been breaking here. Can you see? And here, it's really like short and thin because I've basically, since it's been long enough, I've just scraped it back in a bun with gel and edge control and everything else. And now it's just, I mean, I. To be honest, I've not been looking after it anywhere near as well as I should. So I'm going to try a new moisturising method. It's not as bad as it could be. It's still growing, it's still healthy, it's still thick. It just needs a bit of TLC. So I'm going to do that while Eiffel nests in my clothes. And then I'm going to maybe talk you through some of my new skincare stuff. 
let's see anyone else change straight into their house clothes when they come back in i never sit around the house in clothes that i would wear outside i don't know why i just don't do that but yeah currently looking like a, a scarecrow or something i don't know i'm gonna get off this thing because i have nothing to say oh it's so not in here okay see we have this shit happening um and every day when i brush my hair i'm noticing little broken bits which means that the ends are breaking off. It's also breaking, like here, you can see short bits. Oh God, I'm gonna sneeze. Old habits die hard, and normally I'd be really inclined to go out and buy a bunch of new products, but I actually don't need to. Always detangle from the ends. So I'm splitting it in half. See how dry it is? It's dry and tangled. And when, when it was natural, I had my routine locked down much more rigorously. I went back to trusty youtube youtube has the answer for everything and found some good videos on moisturizing routines for relaxed hair i didn't want to buy any products so i put one of my deep conditioning treatments from shea moisture with some water um because water-based products are better although i don't want to saturate my hair and i just watered down the products i didn't want it to be like super heavy I didn't add enough to make my hair like wet. I just added enough to put some moisture back in. Go to help me do my hair. I'm gonna seal that in with some Jamaican black castor oil, the tiniest amount because I don't want my hair to be wet down. All right, so here is my skincare and beauty stuff. Um, if I step back, I can show you this towel we got from Amazon. Pretty cheap, can't remember how much it costs, but I will link it in the description below. So this is where I keep everything. On the bottom I have, I have like kind of bathroom cleaning stuff there. And then I have some towels and some muslins and flannels here. And then on the next shelf here, I've got my hair stuff, some extra Glossier patches, which I keep in reuse for travel and some of my hair tools here. And then here I have a kind of miscellaneous box of simple wipes, some lip masks, a facial roller that I got from the skin clinic, um, some other nail bits in here, random stuff, mostly masks and stuff that should be here. I also use the sides for this, really handy, because you can just grab them. Um, here is John's one single basket. John has one basket with everything in it. Seems happy with that. This is our toothbrush holder, which I need to clean the bottom of. And then this is all my exciting stuff. In here I have essence from Caudalie, which is not new, you've seen before. Some new bits I've got, the Swiss Skin Clinic Night Cream, which I've used a couple of times, it's okay so far. And the, the Rejuvenating Serum, also from Swiss Skin Clinic. I've got... The deodorant from Ojai, which is an Urban Outfitters brand, so I got this when I went to Berlin. And I've used it a couple of times. The scent is citrus tea. This is the one I like the most. It smells pretty good, but doesn't smell the best when I sweat on it, unfortunately. Or maybe I'm just too sensitive to the smell. I have the Inner Strength Bath Oil from Aromatherapy Associate. What else do I have in here that's new? I re-upped on some Leo oil, as you saw. Have the Marine Hyaluronics from The Ordinary, which I've never tried before. I have a little kind of sample of the Red Earth Beauty Deep Dive Essence. I will leave a discount code for Red Earth because you can cop a little something if you purchase using my discount code. I also have the Deep Dive Water Cream, which I kind of use as like a double up for moisturizer. Red Earth, this is the Freshing Cleanser. It's quite nice, it's got sea cup in it, it's very soft. I keep it in the shower, which is why it's wet, and I use it in my rotation of cleansers. The Maison Louis Marie Fragrance Oil in the Long Fond so nice it smells so good it's really green and woody i have these oval brushes i have an app called super great where you can review product and earn points for every review that you upload with a certain number of points you can get rewards all of my routines are pretty much the same i just rotate my cleansers and my serums and essences according to what my skin needs finished my hair as well and i'll show you what that looks like now that it's moisturized so it's a little bit more weighty 
because the castor oil is quite heavy but as you can see it's very shiny it's leaving a bit of residue but not a ton but it's more shiny all over so i'll continue to do that every few days and it should just strengthen my hair um in between washes and prevent breakage i also need to get a silk pillowcase and i hate wrapping my hair at night but i have to start doing it if i don't want this basically because when i wake up in the morning these bits are all like biffy i think i'm gonna do a bullet journal video this month fashion month is coming up i'm not going to paris this season so far unless something happens in the next couple of weeks um i'm actually really looking forward to it because as much as i love paris and i love market it's really stressful it's really long days it's really tiring so it can be quite draining i will be rolling out much more content on here and as well on my instagram so i've started posting like inspirational stories and people seem to be responding really really well it's basically kind of like a visual mood board and I, it's just really well presented so it looks really really cool i think i'm going to keep instagramming and youtubing and making the most of everything and not being negative and down on myself and overthinking things um, and being more consistent as well so that's one thing I need to get better at because I'm an Aries and I start a ton of things and never finish them so I'm going to finish editing this vlog and then I will upload it Happy New Year everyone hope you had a good start to January and look forward to seeing you much more on here in 2019